Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message. Now I am going to take a few minutes here in the beginning to make some announcements, so bear with me. So first and foremost, the lives. Okay, so I'm going to have to get those scheduled pretty close to one another, especially in December. December is obviously a very big month when we talk about number vibrations. It's lots of ones and twos and zeros and it's not to be missed, okay, because this is your time to bring in some good stuff, to transmute, really make some huge breakthroughs uh, spiritually first and foremost. But that could also have an effect on your outside world. Okay, so there's that part. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm shedding, sorry. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, because most people are very busy around the holidays, maybe they're traveling, you know, that sort of thing. I'm going to try to do like maybe two lives a week in the beginning of December. We'll see how that goes. So just a heads up on that. And also I have a live as this is going up tomorrow night. That would be the 22nd. And it's going to be on the angelic self. We're going to be talking about that live, you know, talking about how to get in touch with that part of you and how important that is and what that might do for you. Okay. So that is tomorrow night. All the links for upcoming lives will be in the description box. Okay. So check that out. Get your ticket. The next one, the following week, will be on soul codes. So what happens when you're seeing repeating numbers? How does that affect your energy field? What does it mean? You know, all that kind of stuff. So check that out. And then the number of vibrations for December, those lives will be, you know, coming up very, very soon. As far as personal readings go, hop in line. <laughs> this is a great time to get a personal reading. And I figure from now until Christmas, uh, we play a little fun game where every once in a while, just kind of unexpectedly, I'll pop up a little window of opportunity. It's little, okay? But if you get in at that certain time, you know, check the posts about what you get for putting your reading request in at that time, all right? Now, this is a busy time of year, you know, so just keep that in mind. It never goes past three weeks, all right? No matter what, I've been... <laughs> <laughs> um, injured and still be doing readings, you know, so I get them done. But I just ask that um, if you do want a reading, yes, like I said, I have those little windows coming up, but maybe don't wait for that, okay? Just, you know, come on in when you're ready, all right? So there is all of that. Obviously, as I was sitting down to record this, um, there's just been some very, very strange happenings. I live in Colorado Springs. I'm 20 minutes away from where everything went down. I don't want to put this in the, in the video, but you know what's been going on. Um, lots of things happening in Iran, obviously. Um, you know, just it goes on and on and on. And I have noticed some people behaving very strangely. Now, when I say strangely, I'm talking like, oh, whoa, that that's weird. <laughs> okay, that's weird. So... We, of course, have the, you know, our duality consciousness, which is our third dimensional ego consciousness. We've come in to experience duality. And now we're in this time where there's, there are going to be lots of shakeups around that duality consciousness. And we're supposed to be evening out. All right. So at the end of the day, we're all connected. We're all one. You know, all of that. But um, as that separation is getting worse and worse, just understand that at least how I'm getting it, that's kind of what's happening. It's sort of getting worse before it gets better. So I will give some, obviously the common examples would be um, people trying to look like good people and completely missing the point of a situation and trying to speak on it in favor of the person who is being entitled, self-centered, whatever. So maybe that is because someone is like a covert narcissist, for example, and so they see nothing wrong with that behavior or the, the enabler who just has learned, like, you know, don't poke the beast, right? So what ends up happening, what has happened for forever now, is that we have people who never get called out because they overreact. That's part of the control mechanism, you know, scaring people into submission, basically. Uh, and uh, it, it gets worse because then people get brainwashed and groomed to think that that is normal. And anybody who speaks out against it is a troublemaker. Right. So that we're seeing a lot stirring up. I just had an interaction on <laughs> online. Um, it wasn't on my channel. It was just a live that I was watching. And one of the moderators 
came out and it's a long story, but basically there was a group of people that were trying to stand up for someone who was on the live. And one of the moderators came out and said, you know, don't make waves. Da, 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 totally missing the point of the situation. And actually kind of came at me a little bit and was like, you know, getting kind of nasty with me. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> sometimes when I think we're making such progress and then this bit of crazy comes out and I'm just like sitting there like, okay, I, I've got no energy for this. I don't, I've got stuff to do. I, I got to get, get on with it. So, you know, just that is the surface level situations that you might find. Then we have other weird things. People are acting out. You know, we've seen that going on for a while. <sighs> Talk about the zombie apocalypse. Y'all lean in. I, I got an example for you. I went to, um, there's a market here in Colorado Springs that I will never go to again. It's called Vintage Market Days. <sighs> I enjoyed it in the summer, but I went this last time. And believe me when I say, just from the moment I went into that parking lot, I had a weird feeling. Hang with me here. I had a weird feeling. And yes, this was the day before the, the thing happened here in Colorado Springs. Not the day before, the day of, excuse me. Yeah, the day of. So, oh my God. So I walk in right from the word go. I go up to the person to, you're supposed to get a little bracelet. And I walk up and she's acting funny. And it's not... No, we can't put, oh, this person was probably doing this, that, or they were probably, no, this is, there's a reason why I'm spending time on this to tell you this. This was a level that was disconcerting and not, not like anything, not like where I've ever seen somebody who's under the influence of something, nothing like that. It was nothing like that. Hang with me. So this person, first of all, I walked up and I was like, hello. And she just stared at me, literally just stared at me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm used to weird. That's cool. Here's my wrist. She, and she was like, do you have your ticket? I do. It's on your phone. So she scans. She goes, this is now your ticket. Give me your arm. And, uh, guys, I kind of, I'm so sorry to do this to you, but it is kind of one of those things like you had to be there to feel it. Maybe you can feel it from me telling you this. So she puts it on my wrist. And the second she did that, I just felt very uncomfortable. Like I wanted to run. Okay, so hang with me. This is important. This is an important part of this message because trust your feelings, okay? <laughs> trust your feelings. Your feelings are going to give you more accurate information than your thoughts because here's the thing. My brain, like most humans, my brain over was overriding this weird feeling. And I said, okay, thank you. And she just literally like, like vacant, she was, I think she was, she looked familiar. I think she was the same person that helped me the last time I was there, was there. And she was so sweet and so kind and something was up. All right. So I walk into this place. It's very crowded. For whatever reason, parents are not watching their children. Like kids running around, running into people. I almost tripped and fell over a couple of kids. They were almost knocking things over. But the thing was, was like, with everything that's going on in the world and all the hear, the things you hear in the news, you're going to let your children out of your sight? Maybe I'm just paranoid, but if I had my nephew with me, oh, I got his hand. I'm watching for any sketchy character. Don't get too close. You stand too close to him. Like that's, again, maybe I'm just a weirdo. I don't know, but it just seemed weird. There was a weird energy in this place. And it was more like people were spacey. Like very spacey. And um, you will get that with self-centered, the almost half the population that doesn't have empathy. You know, they don't think anybody else exists. So there was there was that, right? And there were some you know, nice people there too. But even they, it was weird. How do I describe this? So you had like your robots in there with no empathy, just walking around, walking in front of you, bumping into you, doing all that. People be rude, right? And you'd be like, well, that's just life. no. No, I don't know how to describe it. This was something else. And you could tell. It was so apparent who was carrying light and who was... The lights were out. <laughs> I don't make it sound like they're evil. It's just the lights are out, right? Something broken in there. I don't, I don't know what the heck's going on. But then you would see the other, like, pleasant people. And they were just kind of like... You know, just laying low. I stayed there 20 minutes. 
And I went up to this cutie. Oh, he was probably like 25 years old, but he's such a cutie. And I went up because they were helping load people because um, sell, they sell furniture and stuff like that. So he was helping load that. And I'm like, can I just sneak through this, you know, cargo pickup door? Because my car's like right there. I mean, that's how much I didn't want to go through the rest of the crowd and get out. And he was so cute. He was like, yeah, 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 go on. They stopped and let me on through. But when I was pulling out, I know you're like, Michelle, what is, what is the point of this? I got a point. I know. Hang with me here. This is not that interesting, I suppose. You can skip ahead. In this case, because I'm being long-winded with this story, if you don't want to hear it and you want to put timestamps about where I pull the cards, I understand. But this is a lesson here. I've got examples. I come with examples, okay, to show us how we need to trust our instincts. I'm driving out of the parking lot. And in the parking lot, people are kind of, you know, it's kind of a tight parking lot. So people are kind of walking and whatever. You know, you expect that. But then I was on the road. And I'm driving and I see this woman, she's walked, so I'm driving on the road. She's walking up like this. It looked like she was like with a woman who could, a young woman who could be like her daughter, maybe like her grown daughter. And they're walking up. I'm guessing the daughter, let's say, uh, looks over. She sees me coming down the road and she stops. And the mom looks at my car too. And then looks at her daughter. And it was like, the daughter was, I can't even, oh my God, guys, I can't even, I'm, I'm so disturbed by this. The daughter, they didn't even exchange any words. They just kind of like, like she was a robot and she just got animated and she starts walking. They walk, they almost walked into the side of my car, like at the front wheel. Like, I don't know, guys, leave your comments down below. Do you feel like humans are short circuiting? I mean... I've been open and observing for a very long time, and I can't recall a time I've ever seen stuff to that level. And then later that night, all the stuff that went down in Colorado Springs uh, with the LGBTQ plus community. And then something happened this morning, too, as I was getting a vehicle, the Apple store. I, I Again, sometimes I just sit down and start recording. I just saw the headline. It was very early reporting. I mean, this is important for us to lay down. And if you have a short attention span, I got you. I think most of us have a short attention span. If this were a TikTok video, I would have swiped already. But <laughs> if you're still here, thank you. But I, there's a reason why I'm laying this out. And I'm laying this out, you know, in gritty detail. Because I want it to land. I want it. I want you to think about, feel it out. Why would someone see a car coming down the road and almost walk into, like, right at my tire? She walked. I w and then I was angry. And I was angry because I, f like, I didn't understand it. But I was like, oh, my, like, what are you, what in the heck? I had to, like, swerve out and around. Like, she, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I think I was angry because it scared me. You know, like, holy crap. And they saw me. And there wasn't a, I want to make it clear, there was no crosswalk or they were just randomly like, I don't know, just walking out, not in front of me, into the side of my car. We, that's why I'm doing, well, I, I formulated the live for the angelic self and the soul codes when the Poland incident happened. I started getting those around because anytime I see stuff like this going on, first of all, I feel like we need to talk about like, like I'm doing here, like bring back a little report about some of the stuff I'm experiencing. I hope you will participate by putting um, your experiences in the comments. It's, it's an important time. It's an important time and we need to be working at a higher frequency. <sighs> December's nice, I think. Oh, who knows? And now that the robots are loose, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, sorry for the long winded thing. I just wanted to share that to illustrate that we need to be, first of all, very aware. Please pay attention to your feelings. You know, not everybody's going to pick up on something, you know, but I really, I'm glad I only stayed 20 minutes at the vintage market days. It was too weird in there. The vendors were lovely. Don't get me wrong. The vendors were great. I actually kind of felt bad for them. that They were kind of stuck there. Oh, and my phone wouldn't work in there. This could be a discussion, couldn't it? <laughs> I'm not an expert with all that kind of 
yeah, electromagnetic, uh, what is it, pollution and all that. But if you are, let me know your thoughts. My phone wouldn't work in there. Uh, people seem like they were short circuiting. I was creeped out. That's why I did, this is why this is in part why this is getting up late. Um, I needed a minute. <laughs> I needed a minute. Well, and you know, I, I've kind of, um, had to push aside the thing that happened at Club Q, um, in order to get this done. You know, obviously it's deeply on my mind, deeply on my mind and on my heart, but, um, I needed a process. I needed to sit back and be like, oh, anyway. All right. So because of stuff like this, you might find that you're leaning on vices. You might find, um, you know, this is where we start getting a little reckless, perhaps. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Comfort. Okay, here it is. Archangel Osgirl, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So this is, uh, we're in maybe uh, the pain of transformation. And all those examples I gave in the first, what, 15, almost 17 minutes of the reading were for very good reason. Oh, oh, I forgot this little, like, first of all, my floor is vibrating right now because someone is running up and down the stairs. Um, that's the other thing too. Animals have been being really weird, really, really weird. There's a, right before I started, there was a dog that would not stop barking. And that used to be like, oh, come on people. Like if you're in Colorado Springs, it's like Dog City USA. If you're gonna have a dog, make sure they get along with other dogs or comfort your dog or whatever, right? Today it hit differently. It was like, no, that dog's picking up on something because nobody's out there. Nobody was, there was nothing going on, right? Anyway, sorry, but <laughs> another example. Archangel Osriel, who is the Archangel of Transformation. Um, as I said, I am with you in your time of need. Okay, so that I wanted to go back and reread that because that is the thing. I think that's why the angelic self live happening tomorrow night is very important so that we can, we're not doing spiritual bypassing. It's not that. It's, it's tapping into the fullest part of your soul and letting all the fragments come back together to get charged up because there's some electrical something happening, okay? We, we need that um, coming back together. Anyway, so... Uh, and then having our heart heal. Now, when I do these readings, obviously I get lots of synchronicities leading up to it to pass along to you. Heart healing is one of them. Okay. Heart healing is one of them. And actually there's some practitioners out there when they are talking about the angelic self, it's almost always starting with healing the heart first, because that could be a really big block to getting, you know, or accepting that you're not just this, right? So there's, there's a lot of heartbreaking things going on. This might, I'm not going to lie. I am a human. This might be my grief coming up a little bit. Um, but just sadness in the world, grief for Iran, you know, uh, grief for Poland and you know what I'm saying? Like just that yeah, we can go on and on and on and on and on, not to mention, all the horrible things that have, you know what I'm saying. You've seen the news. Oh, I just dropped the deck. <laughs> I, I probably hit the mic. Sorry. Um, but this is where we're at right now. We're all kind of in like heartbreak territory. I'm shedding again. Uh, yeah, we're not getting along very nicely with others. And there's a need to overcome here. Okay, so let's get into this. Relationship harmony, Archangel Raguel. Conflict. Raguel shows up when it's like, okay, everybody needs to kind of come together. But just like the example I was giving of like being in the comments on a live and having a moderator completely, I, she didn't misunderstand me. She twisted what I was saying. That's why I use the word covert narcissism. Because who are you talking to right now? I've been through that my whole life. Yeah, I could, uh, I'm not a psychologist, but don't try me. I've seen psychologists who are not well versed in all of that. And they give some pretty bad and quite frankly, narcissistic information themselves, right? So there's there's all this uh, distortion, you know, 
people are not responding well to whatever energy just got laid upon us. Now, I don't know about any of you, but have you wanted to stay home? Stay away from everybody? I've been doing that. So, I didn't, well, shoot, it's almost Thanksgiving here in the United States. Um, and there was no way I was going to go out to the store. <laughs> no. People are crazy. People are insane. I don't, I don't know what that is, but that is a whole other discussion. So let's just move on here. Um, Raggy, well, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. You know what? I'm sorry. I got to go back. I was going to move on, but no. I'm grateful for indigenous cultures and people okay yeah and and we have thanksgiving coming up do we know the full history you know yeah have your gratitude practice but uh take some time to study other perspectives of history okay that's all i'm gonna say about that um but yeah we're all kind of hurting we're all kind of confused we're all a little bit of in this shake-up energy um people who you thought huh, here's one that was in the news i i can't even wrap my mind around this one but people you thought were your friends not your friends okay uh so comment down below if you know what i'm talking about again i gotta be careful what i put in here i might have this video taken down for saying iran okay i know don't get me started i know i know all right, so here we have Spread Your Wings, Archangel Ariel. So Ariel, again, is all about, okay, yes, all these things are going on. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, we're transforming. Some people are going to choose to transform, and some are going to uh, keep the light out, okay? And then they're going to bump around in the dark into everybody else. And then you'll have enablers saying, oh, just, just let them be nasty. It's cool. You don't know what their life is. I know what my life is because of them. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. This is like the angelic self. Okay. Check out the live. When I posted that, I don't think people really knew what it was. I got like the people who come to just about every live. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> I don't know if you want my, your name in this video, but there you go. You know who you are. And then everybody else just kind of hung back and I'm like, this might be one of the coolest lives we ever do. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, come on. So it's this, yes? So spreading your wings um, is very, like I said, it's that angelic self-connection. But it's so necessary right now. Not for your own gains necessarily. I mean, it can have that kind of as a byproduct effect. Um, but learning to navigate around you know, certain energies that were put in place to knock us down. Because here's the thing. If you get, th if I had gotten thrown off by that woman, if I didn't know any better, you know, in the live comments and like, I would have started to feel what? Guilt, shame, embarrassment, which is what she was trying to do. She was trying to invoke those emotions in me. And thank God I've gone through the things that I have and I recognized it as soon as I saw it. And my, because she, she didn't like that I, like I said, she didn't like a response that I had. And she was like, excuse me? Like she's starting, she's a moderator, so she's going to start throwing her power around. And I didn't go there with her. All I said was, I was clear. And then she started playing victim. You know, she started doing all these things. When she was the one who went after in the first, you see what I'm saying? So be aware of that. There's a reason why I talk and preach about it. <laughs> like, because those are the things one of the things that has held us up for so long I'm not kidding you sick of hearing me say narcissist I don't care you're probably a narcissist if you're sick of hearing it when we have people playing the game and the game involves tearing others down that's where we're all at to the point where we get brainwashed to think that you're the, like I said, you're the troublemaker because you called something out. Do you feel me? Okay, so there, there is that. Um, being able to, I don't want to say block out. That's not the right way. I don't think that's the right way. Because saying to block out the emotions of shame and guilt or whatever, that's still kind of spiritual sidestepping because it's like almost like false positivity. I'm going to pretend like that didn't bother me. That's not the same thing. 
as awareness. Awareness. You know what's going on. Okay? You feel me? So when you know what's going on, you see the game, the game can't even get at you. But over here, which is where a lot of people are when they're doing their spiritual practice, it's, oh, I just don't engage. Oh, I just, which is pretentious. So pretentious. And I believe that you don't have feelings. That's called being a sociopath. There's that dog again. I don't know if he's going to pick up on the mic, but <laughs> he sounds like a big dog too. Ugh. I've got like high pressure lipstick on today. Sorry. I have to watch <laughs> this little smear. All right. Let's get some more cards. Compassion. Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So again, there, there's just all these rumblings and all these happenings. This whole thing is about heartbreak. It's about um, observing the world and just not knowing what else to do because the way people, you know, some brains are wired. You know, we all have our perspective, but... I don't know, some days it might feel like we're heading down an even worse path. But they keep saying, you know, don't let that rattle you too much because, you know, there will be a turnabout here. But I want to say this is having, um, when you're losing faith in humanity, that's what this card spread is talking about. Losing faith in humanity, maybe your heartbreak has been, um, you know, the deciding factor in your decisions or fear has been a deciding factor. I think that's most of us humans. And that's why getting into the angelic self is so important. It helps you remember where you came from. Okay. And we're going to be clearing up some misconceptions. I mean, I've even heard practitioners say, oh, there are angels walking on this earth. If you care to know what messages are coming through about that, go on the live for tomorrow. Okay. Yvonne, this is one of those cards that was in this deck that always felt very weird to me because it just kind of didn't fit in. It fits in because the dog started uh, barking again. I said animals are acting really weird. And I feel like this is coming. First of all, there's the cutest little kitten on there. I just can't even. Oh, if you want to lighten your heart, watch kitten and puppy videos. <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, you have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. So, you know, as we are coming up on Thanksgiving, you know, um, listening to indigenous people talk about whatever they're willing to share, you know, um, whatever level of understanding they want to help us understand. Right. Um, honoring different traditions. Um, I just actually... I just kind of came across it a couple of days ago. I don't remember the creator's name, but um, he was explaining the the medicine wheel. And I'm just listening to him talk, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. First of all, like, his energy was so grounded and soothing, <laughs> right? But, um, you know, we, we could learn so much if we just stop and listen to one another. We really could, okay? So this might be animal messengers, uh, animal... Uh, spirit guides, you know, that sort of thing. But it also feels like the animals are telling us something. There was a, a story, I didn't know this car was going to come up or I would have looked it up, where I forget what kind of animal it was, but they're just going around in a circle. And they had, what was that? Was that China, Japan, something like that? Double check me on that. I don't remember where it was, but it was just, I do remember the part where the animals were just walking around in a circle. Animals are very sensitive to energy, and we need to watch what they're doing. I took a couple of days uh, to just take a break and went off to the mountains and uh, just decompressed. And while I was out there, there were th this big flock of birds that were doing a weird formation in the sky. And I'm watching it, and I'm, I'm getting the information. I always do that first. I'm, I'm like... Let me take this in and see what's going on here. Then I heard some other people. Uh, it was a couple. And the guy said, what in the world is going on with those birds? Look at those things. Where? Oh, my God. Because they looked confused. 
And they were going like here and then they would, it was like a figure eight in the sky. And then they would dart over to another thing and they would kind of hover, which do birds hover? <laughs> I know, I think bats can, hummingbirds do. These weren't hummingbirds and I don't think they were bats. And they were like, oh, it was, guys, I'm freaked out. Forget it. I quit. <laughs> this, is, this is too much for me. Okay, no. I'm just going to go back to assistant work. I can't do this anymore. Um, <laughs> but like, it was really freaky. And I just, um, like I said, I was paying attention to my feelings. I was tuning into it. And I didn't feel okay. And it wasn't the kind of feeling I've ever had before. It wasn't a familiar feeling. So saying I was concerned doesn't hit it. I was fearful, doesn't hit it. I was confused, doesn't come close. It was this, I guess the closest would almost be like impending doom, but not. Um, so there's your message for the week. Isn't that fun? Wasn't that great? <laughs> Don't you feel uplifted and inspired? Yeah, me either. Um, freaky things, y'all, freaky things. But we are going to be working on ourselves. That's the kind of work I do. We're all in it together. Let me know if you want that personal reading. Like I said, angelsouls444.com. Uh, sign up for the lives if you can. Yeah. Hunker down. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be okay. We're, we're going to be all right. But especially if you're lucky enough to have a pet. Uh, it's times like these that I, I mean, I love animals anyway, but really wish I had a pet to just like, hang out with me, you know, and feel that bond because uh, I think that's going to be very helpful right now. So there's just so much more. I'm going to break it down into the dailies and I guess we'll just leave it there. Again, there's so much. I don't know how to close this out. So I love you. Be well and I will see you next time. Take care. <laughs>